Hey, what's going on guys? Travis Patel here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I want to talk about a technique that we're using lately that's having a lot of success for us. I've actually been diving into doing a lot of international sales, taking our best winners that we found over the past few years in our niches and transitioning them to international, European, South American markets um, following Luke and Dan's EUCOM system. Now, Luke has been generous enough to also share some of his video advertising strategies and a actual video template I'm going to show you guys how to use later on in the video that we've been using and having a lot of success. And we're pretty much just combining video advertisements on Facebook along with color changing mugs. And this is not only working really well for us in the international markets, but it's also taking off on the US markets on some of our newer launches we have coming. So today I'm going to show you uh, one example that's been doing well for us and then we're going to walk through a new campaign that I'm going to launch here. Now just before we could jump into this, if you guys want to learn more about what Dan and Luke are doing internationally as well as how they're scaling to these new reaches, how they're able to use video ads with great success, then I definitely suggest you come join us on a webinar we're hosting on Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Now you can just click that link or go to kingpinning.com slash intweb into web. So that's going to be something really cool we got coming on Thursday. Um, but anyways, let's jump into the content and kind of show you guys an example of a campaign that's done very well for us. Now this is only ran for about 10, maybe 14 days, um, but it's a color changing mug. We sold 152 units, as you can see. Our gross sales was 3,336 and 40 cents minus the $36.09 discount supplied. We come out to about $3,300 revenue. Now, we were running two styles of ads. I posted actually in the Kingpinning group about a week ago of a three-punch system that we use with video ads um, that works out very well. We start out with a cool video interactive ad that gets gets people interacting, gets people engaging with our posts, creating custom audiences that we can target with a website conversion ad to kind of hit them at another angle later on and kind of convince them to buy. Now in this, exa this example I'm showing you here, we actually saw most of our success with the video ad and the website conversion ads didn't really convert uh, the way they usually do. Now this probably has to do with how short our video ad was. It wasn't very engaging. It was only 12 seconds long, but it was enough to display the color changing effect that's going on with the mug. So it's worked very well. Um, now if we have a little bit longer video or we're explaining a product, we've seen that the website conversion, the retargeting side of that is really where we make our conversions. But in this case, for the past two weeks, we've been really focusing on the video ads part of that rather than the, the website conversion. As you can see, all our website conversion ads for this one are turned off, but we still have th <coughs> three video ads that we're using to scale. Um, all of these are getting about one cent per view. Um, some are getting half a cent, some are getting 0 .004 um, cost per view. So we're getting really great numbers on this because it's a, it's they like the color changing effect of the mug. Um, so far we spent about $1,500 on our video ads and $550 on our website conversion ads. So total we're only up there about $1,300, $1,500. Um, then when we do all our costs and all that, it comes out to around $500 as I'll go through right now. Um, our estimated profits with those 152 sales, like we said, 3,331 revenue. Now this doesn't include our shipping. Um, so all the shipping numbers, it pretty much is a wash. Sometimes we'll either be breaking even or make a little bit from how much we charge on our shipping. But in this case, we're just gonna, we're just gonna be talking about the material costs and the revenue numbers. So our mugs cost us about $4.95. Um, fulfillment cost, so 152 times 495 equals 752 dollars and 40 cents. That's around our material cost. Um, then we have we have to subtract, of course, our video advertisement and our web, all our advertising costs. So that brings us right around a 534 dollar and seven cent profit. Now we don't just stick and worry about just those initial sales. It's really cool with the system that we use, the way we build our Shopify stores is we're heavy on the back end, we're heavy on the retargeting, we're also heavy on creating larger cart sizes. So this mug we priced at 21.95, dollars 
if we really look at our numbers and what the back end, what we can forecast, then we can look at our average order size over this period of time that we ran this mug was actually $43.25. So people were buying more than one product. They were buying just not just one mug. They were buying maybe two or three items um, along with that. Uh, so just to kind of do our, our estimated numbers here a little bit further to look at the, the total we actually made, we'll kind of dive into that. So let's estimate that 27 of our 152 uh, mug sales were customers who bought more than one mug. That makes it a very nice and easy number of 125 total orders that we can multiply times the 43.25. Now this brings us to a new estimate of $5,406.25 as a front end revenue directly from our ads. Since we are selling more products, I went ahead and estimated about instead of the $750 um, material cost, I doubled it to about $1,500 material cost. Um, now, 25% of our front end buyers will purchase an upsell or will purchase in the back end of the system. So we want to account for that. Our average order size of upsells is about $52.65. So if we add that other 25%, all those upsell orders, the amount of money we made on the back end, we see that about 31.25 orders out of the 125 bought a back end upsell. Now the average, like I said, 52.65 times 31.25 equals $1,645.31. This is our estimated back end revenue. Now our back end offers average about $10 fulfillment cost. So that's an extra $312.50 material cost. Now all those numbers put together, it, we will take the $5,406.25 front end revenue, add it to the back end revenue of $1,645.31. We then want to subtract the $1,500 front end material cost, subtract the $312.50 back end material cost, and then subtract our advertisement cost, which actually that shouldn't be a plus 544 to be a minus 544 but that brings us to an estimated profit with this campaign over the past two weeks of three thousand two hundred twenty five dollars and twenty two cents so you can see our adjusted numbers are a lot better than even that front end kind of showed us but also shows you the power of video advertisements having a quality system in place with quality products things that your audience is going to like as well as having emails retargeting ads going and that whole back-end system in place now let's go ahead and dive through and actually make a campaign of this um, type right now uh, we'll actually use this graphic here of the colorful pig as you see so let's go ahead in gear bubble here we're using gear bubble for our color changing mugs um, I'll go ahead and choose coffee mug All right, so we're gonna go ahead and choose the color changing mug, which actually I should adjust my numbers because instead of 495, it's 995. So the initial estimate costs probably another $500 down um, compared to what we estimated there. So it's still up about 2,500 to $3,000. Um, but anyways, let's go ahead and we'll upload my design. process uh, I fill I make them uh, 1,000 by 1200 pixels and I just fill the box so I have my designer think of it that way um, you want it to kind of round off nicely on the bottom and make sure the ears and stuff aren't cut off uh, we're pricing these at $21.95 so about $12 profit per sale and we want to duplicate the image after we've sized it on the back so we'll check you can go next step all right that load okay we'll go pig star you know whatever you want to call it star and heart pig color changing coffee mug all right I like to change this black tags this will be for in my Shopify store so pigs um, pig star Evergreen, evergreen, looks all good. 
Launch campaign. Alright. Alright, so there we go. This is our coffee mug. Perfect. Okay. So now what we want to do, if you're using Gearbubble, we want to go ahead and upload from Gearbubble into our store. So I'll go ahead, go into my store, new product, upload. Perfect. All right, let's go double check from our store. All right, looks good. We're gonna make it visible on uh, Facebook. We're gonna change this to our store. I like to take out one of the options since it's a, obviously a color changing mug. Only give them one variant. All right, I also like to go in and add a little bit of these details just to give it a little bit more sales flair. 11 ounce mug. All right, now, now, like I mentioned, Luke had actually uploaded a post to Gearbubble um, giving away this little template video. Uh, that he uses. It's an After Effects template. So if you're using Photoshop, you can get a free trial to Photoshop actually, and you can download After Effects. Um, I'm going to walk you through how we're using After Effects to create these mug videos, and then we'll upload it as an ad. You can go ahead and find that post here in Gearbubble from Luke. Um, Teenninja.eu slash heat dash mug is where you'll be able to find the template. You'll have to sign up to his newsletter. Um, but no worries, he has some good stuff in there. And uh, that's where you can get the actually template to this these files. And this is what you're gonna get right here. Um, a little bit of that actually. I think he added a little some extra for me there. Uh, let's go heat mug. This is his heat changing mug after effects file. I actually changed it. He's using a square video. I changed it to this the 1200 by 628. So I'll go ahead and walk you through that as well. Um, so we can just go ahead and we're going to open up our heat changing mug. All right. So you might be missing a few pieces here, text, font, whatever it may be. So you just click through all this. This is me missing a few of his fonts. Not really a big deal. And it's just the template he sent out. Um, now, like I said, I changed it from this square 1200 by 1200 to a 1200 by 628. So we can go ahead and do that by going into your composition and then composition settings. And here under the width and height, I'm going to go with 628 as our height. Now you can see it kind of changed things up a little bit, what you're showing. Um, we will need to resize everything. So I think we can click into the animation tab here. Well, let's go ahead we can change the composition settings of our animation layer as well change that to the same 28 you can kind of see more where it might fit and then at the end we have a little bit of text that pops up we want it was in the middle since it was a square video I'm gonna move it to the right All right, so we got the settings correctly now where it's a 1200 by 628 video. Now what we need to do is change the design. Right now we just have a little cow picture in there. Somewhere in here. You can see um, under the design tab is where we can change this up. Uh, all we have to do is take our graphic and we're going to go ahead and add it into After Effects here. Right, now we're going to line that up to fit on the mug. It might be a little bit bigger than we want, but 
Now that'll work. I'm actually going to scale that down a little bit. Now we can go back to the main folder here, start this back over. Little line, so I might have made that little small, the design. People probably won't notice that, but just I'm going to fix that just a little bit. But that is how that video is going to turn out. We'll turn on the sound when we export this. Much better. <clears throat> All right. So that is how we make our video. Export. Use the Adobe Encoder. Uh, it only takes about you know a minute or two to process these. It'll pop up right here. All right, change the name. So, perfect. Save. All right, now we'll let this go ahead and process, and then we'll go ahead and upload the ad to our fan page. All right, our video is done. Now we can go ahead and upload it to our fan page and get an ad started. I'm going to go upload photo or video. We're going to choose the video I just made. Pig mug one. Go ahead. Video title. I'll say something like buy this awesome color changing big coffee mug now. Tags pig farmer farm livestock. It's random. All right, now this is our post message. some little animal emoticon so we got a pig emoticon we can add in there all right now one thing we want to make sure when we're doing the video is our thumbnail here this is what's going to show up on the advertisement itself um, this has too much text so you're not going to get uh, great reach with that just the way Facebook rules are so we're going to choose with this type of video It's given us nine of ten options um, Choose one without the text on there. I usually like to do maybe where it's Revealing or it's a half reveal or something along those lines Just so it gives them that that feel so that right there will be a good one Double checking everything click publish I just let that go ahead and prepare and process. All right, so there's our ad. Just going to run like that every time someone sees it roll through. It's going to do very well there. So now what we got is we have our video ads we can create. So we're in the ad manager here, ad dashboard. Going to go ahead and click video view ad. This is going to be our initial opener. Pig star art color changing mug video all right so no custom audience is a start I'll go with our kind of best guess 
of 25 to 54 year olds. You can go wider if you want, if you don't really know your niche. Um, we know that 25 to 54 year old women are really what are gonna buy pig stuff from us. Um, since this is a video and we're going mostly for views and engagement, I'm gonna go very broad. So I'll go just with the pig interest on this initial one, 2.6 million people. Um, placements, look, we have new instant article placements. Interesting. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and edit my placements here to mobile and desktop and, and Facebook desktop newsfeed. Turn off Instagram, turn off audience, turn off right column, turn off instant articles, which is the new one. So we have the Facebook and the mobile feed going. Typically Facebook will get the most of this, but just in case of desktop. Um, daily budget about $50 a day. Being specific here, pig. All right, double check everything. Continue. Next off, we're going to use an existing post. I'm going to track all through our pixels. You can use uh, the you know URL parameters here to track and tag um, where your traffic's coming from. This example, I won't worry about it. Uh, you can see we already have two reactions: one comment. Looks pretty good. Perfect. All right. Next off, we're going to go ahead and we're going to create a WC ad of this same type, um, but for those who have viewed the video a certain amount of time. So we're going to go ahead and hop in our audiences here. You can go into the Ads Manager drop down, click the Audiences link. We're going to create a new custom audience here. And in this one, we're going to choose engagement on Facebook instead of the others, like usual. Um, because what we want to do is the engagement on a video, the video we have listed. Let's go engagement type. We're going to go ahead, since it's only a 12-second video, I choose either the 75% or the 95% um, custom audience. I'm going to go at least 75%. Next up, we get to choose our video. We have our awesome color changing. Confirm, 180 days, um, pig, star, heart, color, changing, mug, 75% viewed. I create that audience. Now this is the audience we can use for the WC ad. It's still very small. We just started the ad, remember, but that will get us uh, the initial audience that we're kind of retargeting. And you can go ahead and you can either retarget them with the same video or you can retarget them with just a normal 1200 by 1200 image post, maybe with a discount um, or something along those lines. So let's go ahead, we'll create another ad. I'm gonna go with conversions. We can create a split test here. Big star, hard color, changing mod, WC. All right, so our conversion type, I'm just gonna go with a normal purchase. Uh, we'll go with everyone who's viewed this, just kind of retargeting them. I want to expand our custom audience is the pig star, there we go. We'll go automatic placement since it's kind of retargeting ad. Twenty dollars a day works. Eighteen plus retargeting. Seventy-five percent viewed audience. Okay. Now just do make this a little easier. We'll do an image post. Back to our pigs are awesome page. Go ahead and I'll grab an ad photo from Gear Bubble here. That looks good. Right. 
so we're gonna click continue. Upload photo, awesome one. make our discount code as well. We go ahead and backdate this just a little bit so it's kind of a so it's a dark post. We don't interfere with the post we just did. Alright, so there is our 1200 by 1200 post. We can go ahead and link to that one since it's probably not going to be found. I'll go ahead and grab the post ID. See, it's not showing up. So enter post ID, submit. Perfect. double check everything and we can place that order so that is how we are using this video ad template to launch a whole bunch of color changing mugs doing very well like I showed you earlier in the video just the numbers of the back end that's producing the upsells and the order sizes you know it's very productive for us right now to be using these video ads since the costs are so low bringing a lot of engagement give us a lot of audiences to bring in for conversions so once again guys thank you so much for joining me uh, like I said Luke and Dan and I are holding a very special webinar on Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern where Luke and Dan are going to be going through how they're using uh, they're best winners and expanding them internationally. They're crushing it internationally in Europe and South America and all these other markets that I'm really just starting to tap into. Um, but they're going to be showing you a lot of cool tricks, just like this video ad trick I showed you here. So I'd love to see you guys at that webinar. Go ahead and click the link in the post here, or you can just go to kingpinning.com slash intweb into web and that'll send you to the registration. So once again, guys, thanks a lot for joining me. My name is Travis Patel. Have a good one.